coming to the first part, the introduction. Now, Basti is now say, 45 years old, was uh, first uh, introduced in 1975 by Harden, and it was meant to assess candidates' clinical skills, attitudes, problem solving, and ability of application of knowledge in one examination. If you look at it, these are all characteristics or attributes which are also examined in long case uh, examination, the traditional long case examination. So basically, OSCE was there to replace the long case uh, examination. Um, and many reasons were given, and some of them may not be correct reason uh, at present. And using the same principle, uh, the OSCE was extended further and was uh, used for assessment of practical skills in preclinical areas, the OSCE. So it, uh, in, in clinical area as OSCE and in preclinical area as OSCE uh, was, uh, was recommended and applied. The main uh, principle or main characteristic of OSPE are two words, objectivity and standardization. The objectivity is uh, achieved by standardized scoring rubrics. So we have checklists and then using the same trained examiner asking the same questions to every candidate. So there is it's a standardization at every step of the examination. And the aim was that with this standardization, we will be able to improve the reliability. OSCE assesses performance in the simulated environment, which is at the show level of Miller's uh, pyramid, because the uh, dust part comes only in, in, in the real a live clinical examination, oh, right? the long case and short case, but OSCE is showing how the students would perform certain actions or certain procedures in a simulated environment, which is at show level, but not at does level. The, the concept of utility index means the usefulness of OSCE from many different aspects. So a well-designed OSCE has a high level of validity, which means that uh, it would assess what is it is supposed to assess and has high degree of reliability, means the results are reproducible in different situations with little error and has a standardized station design assessing a specific a clinical task, which is blueprinted against the curriculum. I'll talk about blueprinting in a short while. And then can drive learning and therefore can have a positive educational impact. The descriptive uh, definition of which would tell the, the process of, uh, of conducting the OSCE. Uh, Performance-based assessment tool based on the principles of objectivity and standardization. And here the candidates move through a series of time limited or time restricted stations in the circuit for the purpose of assessment of professional performance in a simulated environment. So to fulfill the requirement of, of, of an OSCE, we have to have this kind of infrastructure. And at each station, candidates are assessed and marked against standardized scoring rubrics by trained assessors. So we have to have uh, time restricted stations, each station assessing a particular task, students move around. It is not a real environment, it is a simulated environment and there is a standardized scoring system and the same assessors are assessing where they have been trained specifically for this purpose. 
Now, another concept uh, which we need to understand about ASCII, ASCII is not a test method like MCQ or SA. It is an organizational framework and many different kind of tests can be placed on this uh, organizational framework, uh, which may be clinical skills, practical skills, procedural skills, lab tests, or communication skills. So this is a platform which provides us the opportunity to test many different aspects of clinical medicine uh, in, in one go.